Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. If you make dioramas to display your models, you're going to want to recreate water. In our case, we're going to build this canal model from Verlinden Productions, and we're going to use one possible method to recreate water. We wanted to try out this, still water. There's not much information available online on how it actually works, so here's all you need to know. Still water is made by Vallejo of Spain and comes in a plastic 200ml bottle with a nozzle. You just clip the nozzle and you're good to go. There's no need to mix multiple components. The liquid is slightly cloudy and quite fluid, but dries transparent. The bottle also says it's water soluble and self leveling. So we thought we'd test these qualities. We poured some simple moulds using plaster. We then airbrushed them in the green tones of still water using Vallejo UK Bronze Green Primer. We then poured on the product until level at the recommended depth of 3 to 4 millimetres. For one mix, we added some Vallejo UK Bronze Green Primer to see how that would affect the final result. It certainly made the mix appear more convincing. The bottle says it should be dry in 24 hours, so we left it overnight and all day to be sure. You can see how adding your own colours works well and helps to increase the realism. It's worth noting that the mixture has shrunk quite a bit. This is not a problem, but it shows how you'll need to make multiple applications to build up depth. The cloudiness visible here disappears with time. So we took what we learnt forward with our build of this resin canal bridge. The kit is the perfect candidate for a still water diorama. First we make a pouring mould out of cork. This is for our plaster of Paris base. Glue it carefully using PVA or no more nails adhesive. Next we make a mix using the plaster and some Vallejo primer to add colour. Again we go for Vallejo bronze green which will create a light greenish tint. The next stage is to spray dark shadows around the two ends of the canal bridge. Make sure the shadows bleed into the green. We mix up our still water, adding some coloration. This time we add a few drops of olive drab primer. Leave a few moments so any air rises to the surface. Pour into your mould. Tilt and move it to get even coverage. Once all is covered, then pour away any excess. This is the first application. The idea is to get a smooth covering. We will add more coats later. Try to move or burst any air bubbles with a brush or a pin. We leave to dry overnight. It dries smooth and flat and sets hard. Next we create a new muddy mix using US Olive Drab Primer and a few drops of Game Colour Wash, Sepia and Umber. 
any air bubbles or imperfections should disappear with further applications of still water. You can still see the green base shining through, but the effect is pretty convincing. We take our painted bridge and test it out. To depict mould and staining, we spray a green grime around the base. We then pour the final coat of muddy mix. Make sure it's evenly spread. Do not let it stay too thick, about 1-2mm to two millimeters is perfect. We press the bridge into it and leave to set overnight. And here it is after it's dried. The still water has performed well. To get an effect like this, just make repeated thin applications. Here's the finished off diorama, with our 148 scale citron added. It all works well. Our canal bridge crosses a suitably convincing waterway. There you go, a really useful product that will help you recreate water. Head to Scale War Machines for more video reviews, how-to guides and archive films. Bye.